these are the topics in your uh, unit 3. We have LSL phenomenon. LSL stands for lupus erythematous uh, phenomenon. Okay, lupus erythematous is a condition. There you can see this is called lupus erythematous. So the patient will exhibit some rashes. Okay, rashes on the skin. Keep in mind, these rashes didn't came due to uh, fungal infection or due to parasitic infection, but they came due to some very severe condition that I will discuss. So these are called as lupus rashes. The patient will have lupus rashes and there is no treatment to this condition. And this disease is very, very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous and I will let you know why. So first patient will show normal uh, signs like this. Okay, a rashes on the skin. Then, uh, yes, these are, these are called as lupus rashes. So what's happening inside this patient, I will let you know. Before that, I will give some interesting uh, story behind this one. Maybe a celebrity share a story. Um, so we all know this singer, um, uh, Justin Bieber, right? So, yeah, Justin Bieber, he is a you know, gifted child from childhood onwards, he you know how to sing. And uh, he was uh, in love with his first girlfriend. Can anyone say what is her name? <laughs> Justin Bieber's first girlfriend. Yeah, Selena Gomez, if you know, okay? Uh, yeah, Selena Gomez, if you know. Uh, yeah, so it's a very good relationship, everything going fine. One day, our poor little Selena Gomez got some issue, okay? Selena started showing some rashes on her body. And it came to know that she was diagnosed with lupus. Uh, Selena was diagnosed as a lupus, very, very rare condition and very painful, dangerous uh, disease. And we don't know what happened in a matter of months, you know, uh, they were break up. Uh, anyway, um, I think uh, Justin still has some tattoo of uh, Selena. He didn't remove it at all. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, uh, why I am saying this because lupus has a, now you understood what is lupus, right? It caused a breakup also. <laughs> International breakup. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, fine. <laughs> That's how you can remember. Uh, I think I can show you. Wait. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Selena has uh, uh, this one. Uh, by the way, I will tell few more things about uh, this one. Because of uh, uh, lupus, Selena got a heart kidneys were damaged, her both kidneys were damaged because of uh, lupus and uh, one uh, humble fan, she came and she donated the kidney to her, okay? But we still don't know this donated kidney might have issues if she is not any right diet. So Selena obviously became chubby nowadays, um, yeah, because she needs proper diet and uh, you know, when you become a celebrity and you have a global status, and having a condition will be very terrible because the people are not good. It is because of people, Michael Jackson died. They started, why are you become white, why you become chubby, you know? People blaming will cause more psychological pain. So yes, uh, the societal view is very painful thing. Yeah. So the class starts with saying the issue. That is our lupus condition, lupus erythematous. So what is this lupus? What exactly is lupus? Okay, so lupus is an autoimmune disorder. Lupus is an autoimmune disorder. Autoimmune disorder. I don't want to keep Selena here, you know, it's like disrespecting her. Let me remove her. Yeah. I mean, we cannot do like that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it is an autoimmune disorder. In this condition, what happens is, you need to know some basics about immunity. So I will tell about uh, basics. Uh, this one, in a uh, antigen antibodies, you already know. So this is an antigen. Uh, antigen will be present on the surface of each and every cell, right? That is antigen. To this, our body will prepare an antibody. This you know. So for example, I will give one example. Blood vessel, a pathogen entered into the body. A pathogen entered into the body. Pathogen surface has some receptors. They are antigens. Our uh, immune system recognizes the antigens. And the immune system prepares the 
antibodies. Right? This is a simple story of antibodies generation. Right? Now, let me discuss about antigens again and uh, antibodies. What is the meaning of antigen? What is the meaning of antigen? Very interesting, don't get confused. The full form of antigen is antibody generator. Usually we won't say antibody generator because this will confuse you with antibodies. Okay. Antigen, antibody generator is a antigen. Whatever substance that can able to produce antibodies inside our body, such substances are called as antigens. There are few substances that cannot generate antibodies. Such things are called as allergens. Allergens cannot produce antibodies. But an anti uh, then whatever substance that can trigger antibody production in the body, they are antigens. Got my point? Yeah. So now you have understood what is antigen and antibody. And you have some false assumption whenever we are discussing antigen. Antigen is an outside particle. Am I correct? It's a foreign. Antigen is something outside. When it entered into our body, body recognized it, it produced antibodies. Correct? Please, sir. That is an entirely wrong and false statement. Keep in mind, even for example, even our own cells has many antigens. Antigens are nothing but surface proteins. Surface proteins. Can you give some examples of surface proteins? Can you give me example of helper T cell surface protein? Helper T cell surface protein. CV4. CV4 is a receptor, uh, it's a protein, it's an antigen. What my point? Each and every cell of our body has antigens. That is my conclusion. Each and every cell of our body has antigen. Okay. Then, why our body not triggering, uh, you know, not preparing antibodies against our own antigens? How is it possible? Got my question? When every cell has antigen in the body, why our immune system not, not recognizing our own antigens and why it is not producing antibodies? Got it? Yeah, there is a something called MHC system in the body. MH, uh, MHC, major histocompatibility complex, or this is also called as HLA system in the body. Human lymphocyte antigen system. Okay, so I will finish this topic. I know I'm going little there, but I need to finish it. Uh, listen, whenever a pathogen entered into our body, there are two types of cells. One cell is called as macrophage cell. Macrophage. Macrophage will digest a pathogen. Macrophage will digest a pathogen. This macrophage has an ID card. That ID card is made up of MHC2. Macrophage has an ID card called MHC2. And all our normal cells, all our other cells, all other cells have MHC1, MHC1. These are the two types of ID cards we have in the body. Normal cells have MHC1 ID card and macrophages has MHC2 ID card. Is it clear? Why these two ID cards are important? What is the significance of these two ID cards? Okay, now I will go a little depth about mechanism of immunity. Very interesting, just uh, listen to me. So, whenever a pathogen entered into the body, pathogen will release some molecules, it will release some chemicals. Those chemicals are called as pathogen associated molecular substances. Pathogen will release some chemicals called as pathogen associated molecular substances, PAMs. Okay? Now, to these PAMs, our macrophage will get attracted. Macrophage will get attracted towards the PAMs. Okay, this phenomenon is called as chemotaxis. Chemotaxis. Okay, chemicals it is attracted. Pat uh, macrophage attracted towards the chemicals released by the pathogen. This is called chemotaxis. After chemotaxis, this is our macrophage. 
macrophage will attach, it will engulf, it will digest, it will do three things. It came here, it, it will engulf the pathogen and it will digest the pathogen. After digestion of pathogen, it will do some interesting thing, very interesting. After digesting the pathogen, it will keep the pathogen peptides on the surface of macrophage like this. It will keep pathogen peptides on the surface of macrophage. If you can't understand this, I will let you know. You just imagine, uh, Shubham ate uh, uh, mutton today and uh, Muntazi made chicken. Okay, so what they did is, they rightly ate the biryani. Okay, after eating the biryani, they took the bones of mutton and chicken and they made a necklace out of their bones. Chicken bones necklace and mutton bones necklace. And they wore the necklace. Okay, he wore the mutton necklace, he wore the chicken necklace. And they are proudly walking in the class. Okay, so what happened now? We understood what Mutazim had. Mutazim made chicken, whereas Shubham ate mutton. Okay, this is what exactly macrophage did. It digested the pathogen, then it expressed what it did, the leftover pieces on its surface. Probably it is showing in the circulation. I had this pathogen. Okay, yeah. This is called as antigen presentation. Antigen presentation by macrophage. Why antigen presentation is important? I will let you know. Okay? Now, macrophage has an ID card. What is that ID card? MHC2. MHC2. Okay? So, the idea is this. At all other cells, I will bring that cells uh, later. Now listen. There is a security guard. This security guard came to our class and he brought a student, some unknown student, okay? And he said, he, this student is an intruder, he is a terrorist and we need to kill the student. He said to the whole classroom, we need to encounter the outside student. Are we going to encounter them? Are we going to trust the security guard? A good person, what we need to do is, first of all, I will know whether security guard is correct or not. Whether he is CU security guard or not. I cannot blindly trust my security guard. Got my point? I, I will ask the ID card of the security guard first. Show me your employee card. I will check his CU authentication. When I can know he is a CU employee, then I can take action on the outside student. Okay? No reason. If student has ID card, no issues. If he has ID card, that means he is our CU person. We need not to do anything. But he is a foreign, he is a parasite, he is a terrorist. And how I trusted the terrorist? I confirmed the terrorist by asking the security guard. I asked, show me your, your I card. And security showed security I card. Now security guard asked another question. Before we are killing the terrorist, he will ask our ID card. Okay, before I am taking action on the student, he will ask my ID card and I need to show my ID card to the security guard. So what we did, we understood each other. I was so trusted to my security guard that I am a teacher, I am an authentic teacher, I can take action on this student and say I also took confirmation from the security guard. We both confirm he is an outsider, then we can take action. This is the same technique adopted in the body, inside our body. Got my point? See? All other cells have MHC1 ID card. Whereas macrophage has MHC2 ID card. First they will read each other. MHC1 will read MHC2. Then they will take action on the outsider. That is the pathogen. Then what happens I will let you know. Okay. Uh, why this one is important? Because uh, sometimes uh, this is called as transplantation rejection. When uh, I, uh, you know, when I transplant diseases, uh, uh, tissue to the mutazin, for example. First of all, I need to know Mrs. Mutazin's immune system MHC. Ms. Mutazin has a fingerprint of MHC, right? His MHC fingerprint must match with Mrs. If they are not matching, her tissue will be rejected by Mutazin. Because they will treat the you know, tissue as an outsider. So that's why we need to have this uh, identification system. Transplantation has this MHC, MHC typing, HLA typing. 
that anurag ji ma in the stem cell she said ketchala typing mhc typing this is the ketchala typing why ketchala typing important i will discuss later let me finish this story so now you understood macrophage is represented the antigen presentation then what happens is very interesting now there is a patrolling guy there is a type of cell called patrolling he is like a um, constable so what this constable did he is our helper t cell so robin helper t cell he came to uh, this macrophage expressing their uh, uh, antigens so mhc1 and mhc2 they read both of their receptors they are correct then he started reading the foreign pathogen antigen he read the foreign pathogen then this constable will send signals to this constable will become two parts okay pre constable this constable will cut himself into two parts legs will go to uh, d7 and the hands will go uh, hands will go to d1 okay this cell was split into two cells now after recognizing helper t cell split into two cells they are helper t cell 1 helper t cell 2 helper t cell 1 will call the encounter specialist whereas helper t cell 2 will call you know it will inform to b cells b cells will start producing antibodies but b cells will request one week time antibodies are like nuclear weapons one bomb is enough to kill millions of people but antibodies requires one week of time b cells will request one week time to prepare the nuclear weapons got my point then if b cells requesting one week time will the pathogen sit there ideally okay you take one one week i won't infect you will it uh, sit there it won't sit right it will it will it will do infection there so yeah we need to contain the pathogen also we need to kill the pathogen here how we will kill is we will helper t cell one will call a encounter specialist i think i discussed this to you once upon a time okay this encounter specialist is a this encounter specialist is called as cytotoxic t cell cytotoxic t cell has a problem he has some crack like uh, someone that is not in the movie uh we don't know no d movie starts with uh, some till are i don't know even in telugu you know i don't know what is that in hindi uh and listen cytotoxic t cell what it will do is listen once cytotoxic t cell activated it will come to the site of the infection it will start encountering everyone listen cytotoxic t cell will do like this a terrorist sitting in your room he won't mind it cytotoxic t cell won't mind whether a normal civil normal student or terrorist it will start shooting everyone the idea is to kill the terrorist at an expense of killing some civilians is that a good thing that's not good thing right that is why it is called as cytotoxic t cell this t cell not only killing the pathogen it will kill the surrounding tissue also surrounding normal tissue that's why there is another person that will regulate the cytotoxic t cell activity when he is pointing normal person this person will say don't shoot her this is terrorist he will guide the cytotoxic t cell to towards the pathogen that is regulatory t cell so regulatory t cell will regulate the cytotoxic t cell activity cytotoxic t cell will kill the pathogens meanwhile helper t cell 2 will call the b cells b cells will produce antibodies and this is how the immune system works okay that means if we want to blind spot the immune system we can do two tricks one trick well somehow i need to survive inside the macrophage if i survive inside the macrophage i can you know that will be a trojan war i will let you know how so a terrorist what he did is terrorist killed one see on the way and he took my skin and he kept my skin and he took my eye cap and terrorist accessed our institution he can even access the entire my system because now he looking like a long see that is what the pathogens will do one best example will be tuberculosis tb will survive inside the macrophage and it will make the immune system blind so immune system can't recognize tb got my point since tb enter through air of uh, you know through air 
in the lungs, macrophages in the lungs, and there you will get the infection, bone complex formation. Second one, there is a deadliest virus. That also understood other strategy. Rather than killing this uh, macrophage, let me kill the helper T cell. Let me kill the CD4 cells. That's it. Entire immune system will be blind. Cytotoxic T cells don't know what happened. B cells don't know what happened. That is HIV. That's why in HIV we are checking CD4, CD8 count. Okay. Now you understand why HIV is very dangerous. HIV will cause immune deficiency because HIV destroys helper T cells. Without helper T cells, immune system can't get activated. You don't know what's going on in the body. HIV. Okay, these are some normal strategies. Okay, then what is the cell cell phenomenon and this immune metabolism? I will let you know. Listen. In the body, this is a normal cell. Say, for example, this is a neutrophil. Neutrophil has a multi lobed nucleus. Neutrophil has a multi lobed nucleus. It has a ribosomes, it has a Golgi apparatus, everything. It has a nucleus. Result students, nucleus has a nuclear antigen, ribosome has ribosomal antigen. These are the antigens present inside the cell. That means these antigens have never came outside. Got my point? These antigens are always inside the cell. So our immune system never recognized these antigens. Immune system don't know these antigens at all. And it didn't prepare to understand these antigens. To understand nuclear antigens, immune system never got opportunity because immune system never seen these antigens. Got my point? I will give you one case scenario. What happened in this scenario is neutrophil damaged, neutrophil damaged, and the nucleus was exposed. Nucleus got exposed. This exposed nucleus, you know, released antigens. Nuclear antigens into the circulation. Now, what our immune system will think? It will recognize them as foreign. Okay, these antigens I never seen in my body. So these are not my antigens. Let me attack them. And the immune system will attack them and they will produce antibodies killing our own cells. Keep in mind these antigens are present all over the body because they are our own cells. Okay? Now immune system will start autoimmunity. It will start destroying our own cells. These antibodies will start attacking your synovial joints. These antibodies starting attacking your brain, your kidney, your liver. Why? Because a damaged neutrophil released an abnormal antigens that are never seen by the immune system. And immune system got activated and it will kill uh, the things. So, um, so during this, what happens is this is a damaged neutrophil, multi-lobed nucleus, and a, a macrophage will engulf our own cell. So, macrophage engulf our own neutrophil. Such cells are called as LE cells. Usually, our neutro, our cells should not macrophage our cells, but here macrophage have uh, phagocytosis happen with our own cell. Why this happen? Maybe some autoimmune condition going on in the patient. This is called as LE cells. Okay. This, if we see these cells in the body, definitely the patient has lupus condition. It's a deadliest condition. Patient might die uh, due to multi-organ failure. It's a simple test. This, uh, this was uh, de uh, detected in 1920 by a bone marrow biopsy. Patient exhibited some unknown problem, they didn't understood, they thought fungal infection, parasitic infection, but they are abnormal cells in the peripheral blood. And they came to know this is a new type of autoimmune disease. This disease is called as lupus erythematous. This phenomenon is called lupus erythematous. How to identify these patients? Very simple. We will take their blood, okay? We will take their blood sample in a test tube, in an EDTA sample, EDTA test tube. We will add some glass pieces broken glass pieces to this test tube and we will shake the test tube. The idea is this broken glass pieces will destroy the cell membrane of the cells. After destroying cell membranes, we will wait for 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes, macrophages will engulf the destroyed cells. Then we will go for detection of LA cell. 
If we take a telecell, this will be that ratio. Write down the definition of any cell phenomenon. Then you will get the idea. I think Shobham has some doubts. Yes, Shobham? Yeah, clear, right? Uh, see? Uh, see? Write down the definition, students. This is the definition. Uh, see? Lupus, uh, I need to erase the board, right? See whether our definition is fitting with this or not. Systemic lupus erythematus, also known as lupus, is an autoimmune disease that causes the body's immune system to attack its own tissues. Our body immune system attacking our own tissues. This attack can be lead to inflammation and tissue damage, which can affect many uh, organs, including joints, skin, brain, lungs, kidneys, and blood vessels. SLE, systemic lupus erythematis, is most common type of lupus. Okay, this is the condition definition. This is SLE definition. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. 